right, guys, we are trying out this new uh, stacker thing, and it looks like you really have to be lined up on this one, unlike some of those other ones that, you know, will kind of let you get away with not quite the right angle. Uh, but this one really wants you to be lined up, it looks like. That's pretty interesting. Okay, I think this only goes three stacks high. It almost looks like with that bar right there, um, this white bar, it'd be better to kind of come at it from this side and then it would help slide it in, it seems. So let's, uh, let's try that without necessarily being perfectly lined up or just at least make sure it hits the bar yeah all right that's the way to do that yeah I think that's all we can can do with this little guy so now we have to go uh, unload it and I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen. But what I think we probably want to do is just come over here. Let's see. Unload bales. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Close back. That's pretty nifty. I wished it would uh, do more than just three, though, but... I just don't want to, at this point in time, spend money on the on the big hero bed. It's ninety thousand dollars to buy it new, and pretty expensive to lease too. Uh, until we get our barley field, so so this will have to do for now. But yeah, that's what you do. You just hit that white bar, and then you're good to go. Uh, yeah, see, we, okay, we, <laughs> we still, we still have to be pretty, whoa, what in the world's going on here? Uh, we still have to be pretty lined up on it, though. See, I don't think this is gonna, well, unless we turn it, oh, there we go, okay. It's not as easy to use as the pickups are on the other, you know, the other implements. Uh, I need to I need to fix this bump. In fact, we have a couple of bumps that are actually quite bad. I think that that was from the beehive. Uh, so let's just smooth this sucker out a little bit. Because man, if I hit that thing, it just sends me flying sometimes. Still a just a little bit of a bump there. Here, let's uh let's use this. Just to lower it a little more. Okay, now we'll smooth it. almost wonder though if I dipped it down too much now it's this is all the closer I can get to it that's probably pretty good let's just put some grass back there now all right now let's look at it okay much better um let's see the other spot while we're since we're doing this 
There's actually two more spots. Right here is kind of gnarly. So let's um, back up with just a little bit and get the smoothing tool. And I want to soften. Oh, I'm too close. Oh, geez, got to get out of the way. Oh, <laughs> I just realized something. I should probably um, I should probably get OG out of whoop out of his winter clothes. You think? It's March. What's the temperature? I mean, it can still be kind of chilly in March, I suppose. But it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Yeah, he's probably okay, but we definitely want to get him into warm or cooler clothes. You know, by April. Anyway, we. Completely got off track there. I just noticed I was looking at him. I go, wait a minute. I never um I never changed him back out. Okay, so let's go landscaping and smoothing. And I'm gonna actually increase this too. Let's just kind of smooth this whole area out here. The nice thing about the smoothing tool is it doesn't uh paint over you know what's there. Whereas the other tools do that. Right here, especially, just kind of, there's kind of like a ridge along there. Okay, so we still have a bit of a bump here. Is that bale an issue? Because that's on the field. We don't want that on that because you know we have to drive our tractor and stuff over it so let's um i wonder if it's because that bale's in the way all right let's um we're just gonna have to move it with super strength because i don't have uh i don't want to mess with it any longer than we have to Let's just get this out of the way, too, just in case. And that one should be okay, but move it anyway. Okay, now let's try this. There we go. Yeah, it was just that bale. Why is it? Stop right there. Okay. I wonder if it's, I'm still too close to OG or something. Oh, no, there it goes. If we do it on that angle. Okay, that's good. And then the last spot that's kind of got a pretty significant uh, undulation, I guess you'd call it maybe, is right over here. I've hit this bump at speed too, and it's... Uh, well, it's kind of a shock <laughs> when that happens. Um, so, let's uh, get right here, get the smoothing tool, make it a little bit bigger, and yeah, let's just chill this out a bit. That's better. I like it. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get back to stacking. And um, when we're done with that, we'll be finished doing our hay for March. And then we'll move on to the next thing, which will be going to March 3rd to sell our produce. All right, so let's get to this. You know, I got to thinking that we're going to want to pull up to these stacks with the the harrow bed because I am going to use that in January when we sell. And it's probably going to be easier for us to have them pointing this direction. So let's see if we can... Come back this way. Yeah, I'm gonna hit my trailer. 
No, that isn't going to work. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to... Oh, I guess I need to get out of third person here. We're going to have to adjust this a little bit. It's really hard to do this gently because of the digital movements here. Thanks. I'd rather not knock them over if we can avoid that. I just want to flip it. Yikes. Okay, twist that way. And twist that way and set down gently. There. Okay. Now. That's pretty good there. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. All right. So unload bales is Y. Unload bales here. And then pull out and close back. Okay. Oh man, I don't know you guys. This I think this is gonna really be a royal pain in the butt. Because we're just gonna have a whole bunch of just three high stacks with this thing. Oh man, alright, what does it cost to to lease the the harrow bed a lot uh did we we looked at the sales right oh yeah there that's the one that does just does the small bills this, see this one does uh 14 bills but it only does the 120 centimeters and we need to do the 220s or the 230 or whatever it is we're doing all right well here let's go to to, 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 to. what am i looking for bail loaders To lease this is going to cost us forty-five ninety. I think we just need to do it because otherwise this is going to not work so well. Man, <clears throat> man, I really wish we could move that round bale storage, but we can't. So yeah, this is just a little an odd an odd implement because it can only do three. I'm I'm guessing maybe you would use it if you're hauling bales around a stockyard to different cattle. And you you know you don't need a ton of bales. I'm not really sure. Um, it's kind of neat, right? But it would be better if if you could do more than just three. But you can't, so that's the way it is. All right, let's return a couple of these other things too while we're here. Uh, we don't need the wrapper anymore. Oh, and we don't need we don't need. All right, because these are both under the same category. I was going to say, wait, what happened to the other one? So let's just return this one. So, yeah, kind of expensive, but I think it's what we need to do uh, so we can get proper stacks. Plus, this is going to speed up the pickup of these bales, like, enormously anyways. We will be getting this. Hopefully, we can get it on a sale, but if, if it just doesn't come up on a sale in a reasonable period of time, we're probably just going to invite the bolt and buy one brand new. And you know the thing about that is, too, is if we do end up having to do that, one will eventually come on sale, and then we could do our little trick where we <laughs> we sell the newer one and buy the used one and make a profit off of it. And especially sometimes if the newer one has older hours, which I guess it, that would make it not newer, but anyway. All right, so what is going to happen when we just do this? We should just kind of schlup them all up there. Yep. Nice. Have to wait for that to come down. This is easy mode, you guys. <laughs> this is the way to do bales. <laughs> I love it. Now we can create st stacks of five and we can... Um, well, no. Five high, but... How much does this thing hold? I don't remember. A lot. Okay, nice. 
All right, well, let's go pick up the rest of our silage bales. All right, that uh, takes care of the bales. I'm gonna have to work on my hay stacking <laughs> skills a little bit here. Um, let's uh, just see if we can straighten these up a little bit. Oh, that doesn't even wanna move. Okay, what if we pulled it? that way a little bit and like that and then push that in a bit and this whole stack needs to come over that way here let's get these out of the way for a second Okay, that's uh that's not terrible. Can we just like shove the whole thing back a little more? There we go. All right, that doesn't look terrible. Should be relatively easy to pick all that stuff up when the time comes with using this trailer. Okay. We'll just have to be really careful not to bump it with the tanker when we're <clears throat> Excuse me, parking the tanker in there. In fact, maybe we should pull the tanker out and not even park it there anymore. Find another spot for it. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, man, I'm tired, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta go to bed. Um, But that concludes our first cutting of hay. Uh, let's return this thing. And um, I wanted to try something. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but in the admin menu, there's a, a delete objects option. So if we turn that on and we look at this, I don't know, do we need to look at this thing? Can we delete it? Nope, doesn't work. Yeah, it's just, I'm really irritated that we can't remove this thing. The silo is empty. Yeah, I'm just, I'm supposed to be able to just press the delete key and then it's gone. Um, like this tree, for example, if we look at it and press delete, poof, goodbye. <laughs> um, it gets rid of it. Let's do that to this one too, just because sometimes that tree's in the way. All right, I won't do that to any more trees because it's really not legit, but um, yeah, that sucks, man. Okay, well, it was worth a try. I might I might have actually uh, tried this. Let's turn super strength off, too. Uh, one other time, too. I, I just didn't, couldn't. I don't remember for sure if I did or not. But So, yeah, we're just stuck with it. Um, oh, 
this doesn't have collision, so that's actually good. Can we drive through it with the tractor? Most likely we can. Um, if that's the case, then at least it's not going to obstruct anything. I missed it. My steering wheel lagged. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we can, at least we can drive through that. So that's, it's not going to, you know, cause us a problem in that regard, but still, it's too bad we can't get rid of it. Uh, but we can't. So it is what it is. All right, guys, we are back. It is March the 3rd, as you can see in the upper uh, right hand corner there. And so I forgot, already got my pallets loaded up back at the farm, and I've got my eggs here. Mama Joe has the best price, so we're going to sell the eggs to uh, the fast food restaurant here. And then uh, the lettuce, I believe, is actually the grocery store for the best price. Also, um, I went ahead and rolled my fields, uh, too, because I forgot that those had to be done or that had to be done as well. OK, so we made two thousand and fifty eight dollars on those eggs. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. So let's take the, the forklift back. We'll run the lettuce over to the, the grocery store. And uh, yeah, I, I uh, for whatever reason, <laughs> I always forget I need to roll my fields. But fortunately, I remembered to do it before we moved into the next month. Because I mean, once the grass uh, reaches the first growth stage, then you can't roll it anymore. Well, you can, but then you you know then you have to start over again with the growth stages. So. Anyway, I got that done, uh, knocked out in about 40 minutes uh, with the help of the AI, and yeah, so we got that going. So let's get this thing parked, and then uh, in the next episode, we will be going into April, and we'll be able to do that first hay cutting and probably have a couple more fertilization and cultivation uh, contracts too, and that should get our money up pretty doggone good at that point. All right, so let's, uh, am I, can I get out? There we go. Let's run this over to the grocery store. I want to just double check again, make sure that still is the best price it should be for lettuce. Uh, so grocery store is paying 1050. Yeah, that is the best price currently. So let's get on over there and get us sold. I repaired both of my tractors too after I was done with the with the haying, and uh, that was expensive. So we're sitting at 146,000 right now, and we should hopefully we'll get around 9,000 or so for this lettuce, and then uh, Okay, let's see what we get here. $9,454. Not too bad. Okay, so that brings us up to $155,582. Uh, we need $180,500-ish to buy that field um, so I'm planning on buying it in in June uh, for sure if not maybe a little sooner than that uh, because July is when it can be harvested it's a barley field and we don't want to I don't want to wait till July because it's possible that the AI farmer um, will harvest it like as soon, like immediately as soon as July starts uh, I've seen it too, you know, where I've opened up the contracts and there's contracts for harvesting and then they just disappear. And that's because I believe it's because the computer farmer harvested it, you know, like right in front of our eyes kind of thing. So we don't want that to happen to that field because that's going to be our chicken feed for the rest of the year. All right, guys. So I think we are finished uh, with everything. So you can see the field is rolled there. And our chickens should be in pretty good shape. They, the grain started to get low, but 
we're going to hold out, you know, uh, let's, let's see, April, May, June, July. So we need four more months. I don't think we have four more months of food here. So we're probably either going to have to buy some feed for them or maybe we'll luck out and we'll get a harvesting contract, um, you know, before July uh, to keep them fed. But if we have to buy some grain, it's not the end of the world. We can certainly do that. And then let's see. Let's take a look at our greenhouses. Fertilizer's starting to get low, but again, not terribly low. So we may need to start thinking about doing something about that uh, late April, early, early May. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.